Well, good day everyone. This is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar and today what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, classifying um, some of these agents in a common way that the common uh, that the the uh, major weaponized agents are classified are through the uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization uh, which stands for NATO the North Atlantic Treaty Organization it stands for NATO it's um, a um, organization of uh, several different nations including uh, the United States Canada and several uh, nations in uh, Europe and around the world and this is a um, standard um, either a uh, a two to three letter code obviously this is the only thing NATO does but uh, in this particular in, when it comes to naming uh, chemical warfare agents uh, NATO has devised a really commonly used um, method that's a, uh, a two to three letter code and then each agent has its own um, little code so I just want to review some of those codes on some of the more uh, common uh, weaponized agents so let's go ahead and start over here at uh, vomiting agents uh, so some character some some characteristic vomiting agents that I that I've chosen include um, things like uh, atom site for example um, Atom site has the code DM. So if you see that written or talked about, that is a code that means vomiting agent atom site. Um, let's see here. We have uh, diphenyl cycloserine, uh, which goes by the code uh, DA. All right. And then you have uh, diphenyl cyanoserine which goes by the code DC. All right, so you have DM, DA, and DC are your uh, vomiting agents. Um, let's move up here to vesicants. Vesicants um, are also known, also known as the blister agents. All right, these are known as blister agents. Um, you have uh, sulfur mustard, uh, which is uh, in its 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 um, less pure form or undistilled form. Um, you have a type of um, uh, mustard, <clears throat> excuse me. And in this particular uh, form, it goes by the term um, H. I believe it's just an yes, it's just an H all by itself. So I kind of broke the little two to three letter code rule there. Um, and then the sulfur mustard that is distilled, highly distilled, so it's a very pure form of sulfur mustard, goes by the designation HD. And then we have lewisite. Uh, lewisite is also generally considered a um, vesicant. Um, there is a lot of crossover in a lot of these agents, so these are not like strongly held categories. It's just... This is just kind of the way that I've, I've laid them out. Makes a certain amount of sense. And then that goes by the designation L. Okay, moving down to the nerve agents. Um, the nerve agents all start with uh, either G or V. And um, basically the way that these go is um, it starts at G and then A. And A would be the very first nerve agent that was ever developed, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, etc., etc., etc. And then the G in this case means German. So um, Taboon was the very first uh, nerve uh, weaponized nerve agent developed by um, the Germans. Um, so we call that NATO calls that the G A, and then um, Sarin. Uh, sarin it was a second, so we call that GB. So Taboon, Sarin, and then Soman um, is the fourth agent, so that is GD. And then you have um, another, and this is one of the, the newer agents, and it doesn't actually go by G because it was not uh, German developed, and it's um, O ethyl S2. Uh, blah, 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 dot, 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 dot. It's a long, complicated name, and it just goes by the term VX. And actually, this is, uh, most people know it by this term and, and not its chemical uh, name, so <laughs> I'm just going to use VX instead of uh, O-ethyl, blah, 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 blah. All right, so you've got your nerve agents. Then we have our blood agents. 
which um, primarily um, act by um, poisoning uh, both red blood cells and uh, um, in, 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 in the case of these two, uh, these also um, inhibit uh, or uncouple oxidative phosphorylation. So you're unable to make adenosine triphosphate through uh, the electron transport chain system. Um, so you have hydrogen cyanide or uh, just H cyanide um, and this goes by the term AC. All right, and then you have cyanogen chloride, okay, and that is CK. All right, so you have cyanogen chloride and hydrogen cyanide. I'll move up here to the pulmonary agents, primarily have pulmonary effects. Um, so we have uh, chlorine, all right. So chlorine is just Cl, all right, and then you have phosgene as well, and uh, phosgene is, uh, let's see here, I believe it's Cg, yes, Cg, all right. Um, you have your military smokes, you just have your standard white um, smoke uh, that's generally not particularly toxic. In normal, under normal use, this is the smoke that you use to obscure uh, movement, um, troop movement, and obscure other things. So it's just standard white smoke. Um, it goes by the HC designation. Then you have uh, sulfur um, trioxide and chloral sulfonic acid. I'm just going to call that uh, sulfur trioxide to kind of uh, shorten it out, uh, which goes by the designation FS. You have um, titanium chloride, that's uh, Cl4 there, titanium chloride, or uh, tetrachloride, rather. Um, titanium tetrachloride would be the, uh, the more the proper way of, of calling that. Titanium tetrachloride, it goes by Fm. And then you have a white phosphorus, or we used to, in the Army, we used to call that Willy P. Um, really, really nasty stuff there. Um, white phosphorus just goes by the designation WP. How about that? And then you have red phosphorus as well. Red phosphorus goes by the designation RP. So some of these are pretty, um, pretty self-explanatory and pretty intuitive, and, and some of them are certainly not like the nerve agents. And then we go down here to the um, riot, the, the various riot control agents. Um, so let's see, we have orthochlorobenzaladine, I believe is how that's announced. So orthochlorobenzaladine, uh, which is actually tear gas. This is also known as your standard tear gas. And this goes by the designation CS. All right. And then you have uh, chloroacetophenone, I believe is how that's announced. Chloroacetophenone, um, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go with that. Um, Chloroacetophenone has the uh, designation CN. You have uh, kamite, riot control agent as well. Uh, kamite riot control agent goes by the designation CA. You have oreo resin capsicum, um, which is also known as pepper spray. Pepper spray. All right, and that goes by the term O C. All right, and then the last of the riot control agents is uh, chloropicerin, um, which is um, P S. And I have kind of a little asterisk here because this does have significant pulmonary effects. Um, so it may also be classified as a pulmonary agent. And all of these agents have crossover. For example, nerve agents, right? Nerve agents um, can have marked pulmonary effects, okay? Um, nerve agents can also cause um, vomiting as well. And that's not why we primarily use them, though. Um, and uh, that's the thing. Smokes, smokes can most certainly have uh, pulmonary effects. Your riot control agents can have pulmonary effects. Your vesicants can definitely have pulmonary effects. Um, they can definitely have um, vomiting and um, they can definitely have um, blood effects as well um, because they, they work essentially as alkylating agents and they can um, cause uh, 
uh, suppression of uh, the immune system. Um, that's one of the major mechanisms by which a leucocyte, uh, or uh, excuse me, a phosgene, um, it's one of the major mechanisms by which a phosgene works. So I should draw a line from phosgene to blood as well. But anyway, these, these all get kind of mixed up. So don't, don't hold too fast and steady to these. But these are just kind of general ways, uh, general groups of, of classifying these agents by their, their primary intended uses. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the, this particular video on the um, NATO uh, standardized agent codes. As always, thanks for hanging in there, guys.